All right, welcome to another episode of the Lots of Lobang, your very favorite uh, local podcast in Singapore. The one and only multi you, multicultural, multicultural, brought to you by Deben, the funny Indian, <laughs> Sean, funny Sean, the Jewish star, and Josiah, the confused kid. Yeah, because I I don't know who to support. Funny if, if there's look funny. Yeah, if there's ever a racial riot in Singapore, I <laughs> I might be the referee. You fight with yourself, lah. <laughs> no, he referee. I, I'm the referee because he's uh, you know he's he has a very confused look. No, yeah. but in the Catholic, I think I don't know where the Catholic face. Uh, when you masturbate, right, it's self abuse, right? Huh? Like really, man? One of them is no, it's it's just called a sin. Uh, yeah, sin, right? you go to hell. Just do that, lah. Right. You masturbate, then you're you're abusing yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but but if the if if the racial riots involve uh, the third group in Singapore, then I might have to take sides, <laughs> or take bets. What What do you mean by the third group? The third group. The, the Malays. Oh. Then I have to take bets. And what, what kind of bets are we talking about? Uh, kind of bets in cryptocurrency, <laughs> <laughs> so I can make some money. Wait, what? <laughs> make some moolah. Make some moolah. Mula. Okay, but no. What uh? What's our topics for? Yeah. Okay. So the, the first one that we are going to start off with mm. is pretty light-hearted. Yes. Light-hearted. And uh, it will also get you light in your stomach. Oh. Right. As long as you order food that is homemade. Yeah. Be careful. Uh. Then you better be careful you better because you might be ordering homemade laxatives. Right, weight loss, uh, unwanted weight loss program, especially all those people with uh, fucking sweet tooth. Mm. Be careful. Yeah, you don't know where the butter has been. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But the only person in this podcast who has to worry is Sean. Yeah, <laughs> because the name of the 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 place I think we're allowed to share it lah because yeah. they, it's peachy. The peachy sugar maker. Yeah, and so when and when Deben says uh, sweet tooth, Sean, you are sweet everything. All the s- all the tooth. S- right? No, for him, it's yeah. sweet teeth. Yeah. Yeah. The whole and tongue, and, and throat, tongue. and yeah. like fucking I don't know, dick and as well maybe. <laughs> His entire oral <laughs> uh, orifice. Yeah. yeah. I cannot get. I cannot risk getting a wound because I might lose the appendage. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's too dangerous. <laughs> cut and I don't bleed. You have to you have to close the wound using a using an iron. And it'll be step by step. Yeah, yeah, my my blood is as sweet as strawberry. So it comes out here. Yeah, whenever you take a piss, uh ants f- suddenly make your way no, to I your had to run away from ants. I had to keep my house ants free because they keep biting me. Yeah. So I want some of this sugar. It's it's a problem. I want some of this sugar. I'm a walking attractant to the wrong kind of species. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think an ant eater will be jealous though. Because you're getting all the fun. And Anders like, hey, bring me some of my food. True. Yeah. True. We could ally though. You could be you could all ally. the ants that come come my way. Right. And I'm envious of an ant eater, so he's snubbed. Oh. Yeah. A I long wish, a long I nose. Wish, no, I wish but you I have a long nose, right? You can Oh you know, no, I I wish <laughs> I wish Or, or do you wish you have a longer something yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had longer something else, you know? That could reach into uh, that can get into hard to reach areas uh, and hit the spot. Hit the spot. Yeah. Actually it's his tongue, right? He has a long snout and then an, an and equally the tongue, long yeah. tongue. Yeah. I think he has like a five inch or six six inch tongue. Yeah, jealousy all around. Yeah. All around. And uh, okay. longer than my penis. <laughs> my but penis. anyways, if any of one of you listeners were but you you see, unfortunate when Josie talks about his penis, it's usually a short story. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Damn it. Uh, I wish I came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I came up with that. All the burns I've been getting, I need to get one good one. In you know, in, in, in the army, in, in the I, army, I, I, did, I did it for you. Okay. In the military, you. they say it's not the size of a weapon, but how you use it. Is and that so? I, and it's true in real life. It's all about the spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the cable tie. It's all about the cable tie. The, yeah. <laughs> the cable tie is a cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. I hopefully I'll never be in the same guard house with you guys. <laughs> Coming in for. for no, you had to go past I the same guy. I had to go past, la, like, yeah. like, you know, I just hope I don't get called in for no reason. Yeah. No, but it's easy to so kind of trick you in, right? Say, hey, Sean, we got cupcakes Cupcakes here. Do you want some? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you come in and then suddenly you black out. <laughs> no, I, I, at that point, right, I never thought that Sean would be such a sugar fiend. Right. Like, man, this fella loves, yeah. like, sweet stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? But on a good note, you are cutting down on sugar. I got no choice. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the sugar is, try, is starting to pile it's up. cutting down on sugar, but it's piling up on prata. <laughs> so <laughs> I, so I, I think it's a problem because you know how you replace one addiction with another. Yeah. So now I'm replacing like sugar with uh, carbs. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not joking this time around. Isn't sugar and carbs almost the same thing? Almost the same, but yeah. the level of it is even frightening me. I just ate three, three No, but carbs, you know, you got simple carbs, complex carbs. Complex carbs. Right. Oh, Just nice. do a standout special elephant in the room and then you're free to go. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you're free to go. <laughs> Fucking Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> yeah, I had to be a shout out. At that Hashtag point. shout out. Yeah. Gone too but soon. But I think this one is yeah. like punishment. Because of diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. but, but, no, but Patrice stroke, O'Neill is stroke related to diabetes. But yeah. Patrice O'Neill is coming back. He's doing a stand up uh, uh, special at uh, Joe Rogan's Club. <laughs> Shout out Tim Dillon. <laughs> Shout out Tim Dillon. Patrice O'Neill, <laughs> Greg Gerardo, John John Rivers. <laughs> yeah, oh. George Carlin's closing the night. George Carlin's closing the night. <laughs> it's a comedy show to die for. <laughs> it <laughs> is. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. No, but uh this this seems like a trap. I feel like they created this whole the peachy sugar maker, right? To trap us. Right. To sell us like delicious homemade cookies and then give us the shit. I I think it's instead of I- instead of sugar syrup, mm. they used a uh, diabetic piss as their sugar syrup. Right, interesting, interesting. But I think yeah, that yeah. is why people got pretty really sick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and also it's like recycle, reuse, and reduce, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't waste good piss. If ants are going to be attracted to their piss, humans might be. It's as good. It's as good as. Maple syrup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, but this one might be a little bit yellow no, and yeah, rather than just flush it on the toilet and then waste it. I mean, why? Yeah, exactly. Why? Like we always say here, if you don't give us anything to work with on, uh, like uh, your articles, right? We're gonna make shit up. Yeah, exactly. So we have to make. Th- there's nothing covered here. When I when I clicked on the article, right, it was just, uh, the number of people, which is fifteen, but nine of them are ho- hospitalized. Yeah. Then that's it. Like it ends with we're investigating it. So we're gonna make sh- stuff up. Wait, but where's the store though? Did they mention no, where's the store? Home, home base. Oh, yeah. home so base. you know, it's like if you go on Instagram and you see, uh, yeah. uh, uh, like home bakeries, or right? Like, uh, you just call, give me your orders, then we send it out. <laughs> hey, but how? But that for for them to call, that means they are unsanitary, though. Yeah, no, right? There is no guarantee of the yeah. sanitation. Uh, so it's yes, home, yes. home base. You, you no can't grading. say that they were unhygienic or what. Yeah, you don't. But know. you don't know. You just don't know because don't there's know no one inspecting. Yeah, they were they were kneading the flower, the flower, the flower beside the toilet bowl, beside the door, or in the toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> next, <laughs> next, next, next to the cat's litter box. Who knows? Uh, in the living room yeah. after playing uh, Call of Duty. You yeah. know, after touching that mouse. Yeah. Then uh, did the dog sit in it? Right. Uh, uh, the other thing is uh, maybe they just gone to the toilet. Yeah. You know. Yeah, especially the toilet because uh, most of the cases here they said the gastro and I don't I cannot say the thing but it's basically the stomach stomach flu. inflammation yeah uh, some yeah. kind of germs but yeah you go toilet basically it's like some fucked up bacteria in the food and then like you when you ingest so you it go, you get sick you go toilet yeah. you wash it, but you don't wash you just wipe right you wipe then you don't wash your hands have to be Chinese family. <laughs> <laughs> Lim Wei Ming. <Yeah. laughs> so Lim Wei like, Ming. So most likely went toilet, but uh maybe forgot. Ah oh shit! I'm still needing, needing. Yeah. Instead of two wipes, give it a th- third wipe. Yeah. Like. No wipes. Yeah. No. What about a bidet? Uh, yeah. Use a bidet. Uh, this podcast has always been advocating the use of a bidet. But then they wash your hands after. Yes. Yeah. Covid didn't teach us how to wash our hands. We learned how to wash our hands. We because were advocating for bidets from 2017. From exactly. Yeah. From 2017. From 2017. From way before start. Covid. In yeah. fact, if anyone were to sponsor this, right, would be bidet. A bidet company. Exactly. Yeah. Specialized bidet company. Exactly. Anything. We're all for it. Hands free one. The Japanese one. The press the button. Yeah. Everything. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Hello to she. Hello to she. Oh, hello to she. Yeah, hello to she. Hello to she. Yeah. You might we should reach out to them. Yeah. And yeah. then we just lie that our subscribers is 5,000. Exactly. You know, my toilet might have a fisting option. <laughs> 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 almost, almost. I almost got him. Right? Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. A, of a tiny uh, <laughs> uh, Japanese fist. Yeah. A yeah, Japanese so child's fist just you can pumping up a, into your you ass. You can choose the size. It's customizable. Right, right. We'll just right. give you any. It's also made of the most high-grade silicone or yeah. some, something. Yeah. Don't, don't choose black though because black is going to be massive. Choose small Asian hands. We try lah. We try to go easy. Yeah. Choose Josiah like hands. Uh, my hands are pretty small, dude. That's hardcore. You get Michael Jordan or fucking actually, uh, Dennis Rodman's hand. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, we have the three options here. 
Yeah. We have we have large, then we got medium, then we got small. Hey, no, but no, okay. No, no. Our hands are tiny compared to the but, fu- but, fucking but, basketball players. But let's just say, players. let us not be oh. sexist here because we're assuming because we're all men. Oh, yeah. We're assuming that our users are all men. Yeah. But there are some women out there who likes a black fist up a pussy, Ooh. or up the ass, or up the ass. They want different ones. So it is. Yeah, we're not judging. You like what you like. You enjoy what you enjoy. We're here to support we you. We are not going to exclude trans people. Exactly. You, y'all yeah. might be laughing now. Trans people can take two fists up the ass. But in my yeah. head right now, uh, Lim Remy. that's actually the best idea ever. You know, yeah. where else is it more clean and safe to do your business? On the toilet bowl. Yeah. Everything gets settled at once. You get. Yeah. You get but your you get your pleasure uh, and then you get to wash right after. But the thing is that it's when <laughs> when does the fist go in? <laughs> Don't press the wrong button. Does it go in when you are no when no you are <laughs> done with relieving we yourself got or before you <laughs> <laughs> before you <have> relieve <laughs> yourself? <laughs> <laughs> or, or as you're about to relieve yourself <laughs> and then the fist comes in, hey, dude, <laughs> and then you are confused. Back up. Yeah, that's a multi-purpose. You know what right. that is, you know? That's to relieve constipation. Exactly. Constipation really Or That's how we're gonna sell it Relieving constipation By jamming that shit Back up No and th- no, The the fist will be like that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah or, or diarrhea Or if you're having diarrhea And you wanna and stop it yeah. it. And then you pluck it yeah. You pluck it in You pluck Multiple, it in Hey this one This is another one yeah. Of our, our new ideas Yeah you pluck it in You hold for 15 seconds And then Fucking the diarrhea patent is worthy, done Patent yeah. worthy Dude this yeah, is going yeah, to be In that warehouse yeah. With the cycles Because yeah. I think it works Yeah don't go to a doctor When you're having diarrhea Come to us Come to We'll us. fix you <laughs> Yeah, uh, while fist. cold plays fix you plays in the background. Yeah. Fist for thoughts. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just go with that. Hey, That's not fist bad. for thoughts. Thoughts usually refers to thoughts. Oh yeah, no, no, this one's different. This is fits for the T H O T. Ah, thoughts. right. I, I don't know what it actually means, but I think it refers to those influences that are. They are bigger in size. Yeah, is it? No, thoughts are usually s- like uh. Thoughts I are. think it's a slang for slags. Oh, oh okay, for okay. women who practice silat. Then technically, <laughs> technically, I'm not wrong. <laughs> technically, I'm not wrong. Uh. Not not wrong there. Lim yeah. Wei Lim Wei Silat is his. No, 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 no. No, that was. No, right. You got it in a totally different way. I got it the way that you intended it to me. No, <laughs> no. My intention was what we were talking about like last week and the previous week. Yeah. Where, where Sean turned the word slut into silat. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. My apologies. Got it, got it, that, got it. No. Yeah. yeah. So I now I've just transformed it into you just call s- women who you want to call sluts. Yeah. Women who practice silat. But there's some truth to women who practice silat as sluts because. Some of them are No the sluts I know Don't practice silat I'm just saying Because, but they, sluts, because sluts, they are, they are sluts, Too sluts. fragile But they are of the race And they don't wear the scarf <laughs> Lim Wei Ming <laughs> <laughs> I love how we were talking about But diarrhea. a girl A girl that I had sex with Many years ago uh, she when, I could, scarf. when I could fit Four fingers in She's of the race That practices silat <laughs> No being of the race Doesn't mean anything Right, like just just being of that race, yeah, doesn't mean shit. Because I religion was introduced to them way later. Yeah, they were pagans. They did <laughs> not know anything. We need two limb wavings. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that's actually factual. Yeah, you <laughs> just <laughs> called them pagans and I called them sluts. Which one is just, worse? And he just said it's factual. <laughs> no, no, it's historical fact. What? Right. No, yeah, but the people people are gonna hear this entire thing, and that's what they're gonna take away from the, the sluts, uh, paganism. The <laughs> the missionaries factual. came over, uh, yeah, propped them up in missionary position, <laughs> and imparted their knowledge onto them. The right. seeds of knowledge, <laughs> the right? The seeds. They planted the seeds they of knowledge. They planted the seeds yeah. of knowledge that yeah. bloomed. Not onto them, into them. Into and them. While bloomed. they were stretching the ties. Oh, while they were stretching the yeah. ties, and then eventually they were like, yeah, this is the way of the truth. Yeah. The ties this and the, the lower the back. Light. When you arc the ties further, you stretch your lower back as well. Yeah. yeah. So and you get a deeper penetration into your soul. And by so missionaries, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm referring to the fucking Christian religion. I'm, gonna I'm bring talking it about the Crusades. <laughs> <laughs> Finding the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about Da Vinci Code. La. You know, it's a fantastic movie. Yeah, fantastic Priory movie. of Zion. Let's yeah. just keep it in now, now that we reach a deep end, yeah, the deep shall we talk about uh, politics? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Politics now, is now, now the deep we, end. Yeah, the cesspool. Uh, Since we're talking the about the, the, the toilets and yes. the sewage. And yeah. The and, and, and anal fisting. And, and Sean, do you want to take it away with your... 
constituencies uh, guy because he is he, he actually oh, he ran for mine he ran for your he constituency lost. yeah he you lost the loser. he lost the but loser. yeah he the guy he lost he could have re- represented you he could have he yeah. yeah he, he came have. close like he came he close he came close yeah he did was it a very close battle? I think like 40 uh, something percent, right? No, 30, 30 something percent. Oh, fuck that then. Because Shanmugam. Oh! Dude. You, can't, you can't fight a lawyer. Shanmugam yeah. represents Trump. Uh, represent, yeah. bro. I don't know how to do the signs, uh, but yeah. Indian lawyer represents the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> they both love money. They, yeah, we have something in common. Where is the. I, so it's Brad Boyer, basically. I'm, I, I'm too lazy to create. Brad a, Boyer from. The oh. People's Solidar- Solidarity Party, right? Yeah. yeah. PSP. PSP. Yeah. So, he recently came up with a social uh, media post. I think actually he's been very vocal about how Singapore's, Singapore, Singapore's been handling the vaccination, basically the vaccine and the vaccination procedure. I, I think way beyond that, the lockdown procedures. The lockdown procedures. So, the whole idea of locking the country down and everything. Yeah. So, he actually came up with a... I was asking whether he actually came out. There you go. He actually came out with uh, this Okay, post. so um, it's Progress uh, Singapore Party. Oh, Progress. Okay. Yeah, PSP. Not, not, not People's Solidarity. So it's yeah. totally Play, different. PlayStation Portable. Uh, yeah, PSP. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but <laughs> Unless they win, yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the thing is that oh, their candidate yeah. was running for the seat, uh, the parliament seat in my constituency. Was it? And I don't even <laughs> remember the party's name because he lost. So there you go. Yeah. See. But he was way closer than than. Uh, yeah, nah, wait, wait. Than Ish, uh, what do you call this? This, this is what Samong GRC, right? M- uh, mine is. Yeah, Samong GRC. Nisun. Oh, Nisun ah. Nisun. Oh, it was, it's only called Nisun, man. Eh? I think it's called Nisun. I hope it's called Nisun. If I'm wrong, then I don't even be de- deserve to to live there. But I think it's Nisun. Maybe it's about I can't remember. But either way, let's bring the attention back to Brad Boyer. Boyer, right? Yeah, Boyer. Yeah. He posted this on his... I think this is Instagram. Is it Instagram? Yeah, in, uh, Insta story. Insta story. So he posted one with reference to... Uh, I think the picture is a Nazi... Nazi camp, is it? it I don't know what the thing, but the... The things he said inside. It didn't start with gas chambers. It started with one party controlling Cheers. the media. One party controlling the message. One party deciding what is the truth. One party censoring speech and silencing opposition. One pi- party dividing citizens into us and them and calling on their supporters to harass them. It started when, mo- when good people turn a blind eye and then it happened. So this is... Uh, I mean, when you read that and you see the thing, right? You, you oh shit, man. I when you read that and oh, yeah. when you read that and you and you see uh, the picture and everything, of course you're reminded by Nazi Germany. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Third Reich. The Third Reich. Third so Reich. he was trying to make a clear. This was clear. Uh, like when you look at that, right? There was no yeah. doubt what he was uh, trying to say. To yeah. La. yeah, insinuate. Insinuate. And yeah. of course, this is gonna cause a lot of. I, we anyone that reads this already knows. You can already s- the moment you're reading is it, like, oh shit, the backlash is about to come from this. You can already see it coming. This guy is trying to, in a way, compare what uh, Singapore government is doing to what the Nazi, uh, Nazi Germans were doing to their back then. Yeah. And of yeah. So he ended up. The long story short is that he ended up resigning only because he didn't mm. want his party to be brought into. The brought into question, and and, and also I think he got yeah. a lot of backlash from uh, within the party, within, the, the, party within the party, and with online. But we have to make well. one thing clear: he's not sorry for uh, no. saying that. No, he, 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 he actually hasn't, doubled down. He hasn't, yeah. yeah, he hasn't re- rescinded that, and he's saying that now that he's not representing a party, the gloves are off. Yeah. So this episode, we're going to talk about what I mean, most likely what we feel about that lah. And I think if he was uh, my my views on it was that he was too, I think he was too. Uh, not say forward, but too tactless with the way he phrased it. Yeah. Because the things he's saying there, if you look beyond the Nazi Germany thing, right, the message he wanted to come out, he could actually phrase it in his own way without using such strong uh, representation. He just says that 
uh, he, I mean, you can just put like one. Uh, you can say a few of those things instead of the gas chamber and all that. Just say mm. those things and let the people reading it come to their own conclusion. Like if yeah. someone were to accuse him of uh, alluding to Nazi Germany, right? He could either just say if that's not his intention, he could say it. But this one we all know, and yeah. I cannot. I mean, I cannot bring myself to uh, agree with his th- thing. Like he's going a bit too far. Like I think he he mm. exaggerated. Yeah, and he went too but far. Uh, but also, can we look on the bright side of things? Can we look at how efficient uh, Nazi Germany was? I knew something like that was coming. <laughs> you know, how, how a party rose to power with a char- charismatic leader. I mean, that that is something to be admired about. Well, you see... And also creating a shower heads that have 11 holes. <laughs> because they know that Jews have only 10 Multiple fingers. Multiple shower heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, when you look on the bright side of things, I mean, these guys put their ideas to good use. But actually, there's a brighter side. Yeah. He's not wrong. Right. Why is that? He's not wrong at all. No, I can understand when where Sean is coming from. I mean, he's supposed to be a politician. He's supposed to know... I mean, I would think he would. He was supposed to know, like... Uh, the name is it a politically correct way of coming? I I guess he just threw that out the window and said y- like yeah, and, and 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 his post after he resigned was saying that I do not intend to be politically politically correct. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why he's drawing uh parallels with Nazi Germany is because of how they 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 use uh media propaganda to force the public into doing yeah. something against I their just, will. I just believe that it. I mean. The, that's why and when, when and you and read the thing is yeah, yeah. And, and, and also a very important thing to note is that he questions uh, the whole efficacy of the vaccine mm. and how the media with with together with the government how they use this uh, pandemic to force a population into yeah. following them basically but and then uh uh, quashing or, or, or stamping on dissenting voices yeah, and, then yeah. and setting up like you know now the current rules is the moment you don't have that the vaccinated thing you're excluded from a lot of things I mean I, yeah. I didn't experience it firsthand, but I had a friend you can't go to the gym yeah, yeah. I had a friend we went together there I was I'm, I'm fully vaccinated he's not then we went all the way there it's like finally it's open and they had to say oh sorry you're not vaccinated you have to go back so and it's not that he's not getting it it's just that not yet I guess the period is three weeks yeah so now um, after your okay so right now in Singapore hmm. um, you can only dine in after you are fully vaxxed for after a, f- a period in, of 14 in, days in, in right I yeah so restaurants when they find out that you are not dead la. no but it's <laughs> re- it, 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 clarify so I, I'm uh, oh my Every second yeah okay so yeah. bars restaurants but not hawker centers hawker centers and food courts which are which have open, outdoor yeah, open, open areas yeah unvaccinated people are allowed second. to dine in but at a maximum group of two so I'm fully vexed on the twenty third, uh, twenty fourth actually. Mm. So that means that only on the seventh of September, after the seventh of September, then I can dine in with the rest of my uh, up to a group of five. Yeah. yeah. Based on Singapore regulations. And that's if there's no second lockdown. Yeah. You know what? If given a choice, I'm going to get my second jab tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. But you can actually go and get a Sinovac or AstraZeneca jab, and yeah. you'll be considered fully vexed. Even even though I had my first jab of uh, yeah. Pfizer, yeah, doesn't matter. You give give me all. Yeah, you can just 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 jab but me uh, everywhere. But I think you would have to pay for yeah. the Sinovac. So, ah, so this one, I see, this I one see. you don't have to pay anything. Yeah. If you want to go for Sinovac and the rest, you have to pay. Like. Because like I've said many times on the podcast, I had COVID in 2018. I had all the symptoms. <laughs> I think I've reached a point of immunity that if you're gonna test my blood, you're gonna find a super super soldier serum. Yeah, but but you see, Josie, the flowing through my blood veins. The the, the whole concept of Patient of, of COVID, uh, it's false. <laughs> Doesn't exist. No, coming back to Brad Boy. Yeah, no. I just have the a different form of STD. No, yeah. the whole yeah, the whole thing about COVID, I guess, is to weed out who the superhumans are, and I think I fall into the category. No, it it's not the disease that is at work here. Yeah, there's no it, disease. It's the control. Yeah. That has to be implemented, right? Yeah. And someone that is strong like me who kicked the fucking uh, symptoms uh, within a week, I think I'm up there in the top 10%. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to test my genetic code, I think you're going to find something very surprising. Would it be horrible if you found out that It'll the virus be butter reject- chicken. No, the, 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 yeah. the, Your the genetic code will say butter chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> that the cu- it's going to be R. <laughs> it's standing for retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it rejects you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, rejected retarded. Yeah. Uh, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, so coming back to Brad Boyer, right? Uh, I I yeah. totally get what he's trying to say. Yeah. 
he is trying to equate the situation with what happened in Nazi Germany. He's not saying that this government or whichever government is going to conduct a Holocaust. I don't. I don't think you can find evidence for anything. No, no, no. He's in, not saying in that. In the statements to say that, he's saying that please look at the steps in which we, we the population, are blindly following or stepping forth in. Yeah. Right. No one is questioning any any of these. Oh, sorry, tweet, uh, any of of these uh, plans or schemes or. Or government regulations, right? It's like, oh, the government said so, so let's follow it. Yeah. Wear a mask. Yeah. Yes, sir, I will. But the yes, sir, I will is because you don't wear a mask, you cannot $300 fine. Yeah. So, right? lan lan la. Do it lan. Lan lan. I don't want to lose yeah. $300. And then the media examples of people who don't wear masks are not the best examples at all. They, they are fucked up people. Yeah. You you got the the British guy, and then you get the Chinese lady, uh, the lady who went to China and came back. The MBS. I don't wear a mask. I going to reveal secrets of the Singapore Navy. That lady. Holy fuck! She said that. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I used to be a commander in the Singapore Navy. You don't want yeah. me to be revealing secrets or like. If she said this in the US, she's gonna get two bullets to the head. Yeah, but no. In in Singapore now now she's a laughing stock, right? Yeah. So, so you have examples of people who didn't wear the mask and who are fighting against it and then they claim to establish as nut jobs right yeah and then they claim to be sovereigns right the yeah the oh yeah. I'm sovereign or like the the British guy claimed like oh I'm a sovereign uh, these laws don't apply to me like these are the examples of dissenting voices right so the general public majority of us are not going to look at these people and like oh okay there's there's a reason for us to rebel and not wear the mask. Yeah. Right? But overseas, you have people who are talking about studies done by the NIH, National Institute of Health in America, Yeah. funded by them. Yeah. And those studies say that mask efficacy is bullshit. Yeah. It doesn't work because the aerosols that you claim that humans uh, emit will go through the uh, fucking mask pause. No, I completely disagree with that because the only mask that I wear has the Man United badge. And when you wear the Man United badge mask, it protects you from any disease and any pathogens. You, you see, you wearing the mask might be okay. It might safeguard yeah. you. But people who have to see that mask and that logo, <laughs> they will get sick. <laughs> you know, we have to throw up inside our masks. Yeah, and then I'll sing Glory, Glory, Man United and we're going to get the championship! And Leeds is going to win tonight. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, five dollar fifty cents. Whoa, really? Yeah. We we we'll know the true uh, um, uh, effect of this from week uh, when 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 this next week next yeah, week next week yeah yeah, yeah okay. Post. So I really get what he's trying to say. I really get what Brad Boyer is saying. Oh, we're gonna shit on you now. Yeah, we're gonna shit on you now, man. While you are gonna take a shit, we are gonna shit on you. <laughs> yeah, he just took a shit on himself. Yeah, because he can't fit through the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his like uh, the Steel Panther song, Fat Girl. I mean, this is usually what he does. He goes inside there, pleasures himself with the bidet, Fat and comes back all boy, <laughs> he can't fit through <laughs> he, he, the yeah, door. We got mini concert here. Yeah, you know, mini concert. Yeah. If you, if you, if you, if you listen closely, you can hear a little you bit of. You, you can hear the bubbling. You can hear. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the turd hitting the f- yeah. water. Oh, we won't give you that. Uh, and that fermenting <laughs> instantaneously. <laughs> we'll try to give you more on Brad Boyer's uh, situation. Like for for what maybe what I'm saying is that in this time he could have used a little bit of political correctness in that sense, right, to word it so it doesn't come off that harsh. Because the the things he said, I mean, if phrased differently, like know how. Uh, I I've read his Twitter and I can see he's he's not happy with the way yeah. the government are doing it, but to make that drastic comparison to Nazi Germany, uh, I think it's too far. It, of course, it's gonna rub people the wrong way, and not for the right reason. You see, now you're gonna strike rub people wrong way just because of that comparison. No, no one's gonna focus on what's, uh, what he's saying. Like you know what what the government is doing. They're gonna just focus on that one little point I where I, I would disagree with that, and I would say that that is actually the best. Example. No, you mean that you're saying that that was his inten- intention is to strike that 
that. No, no. The the example he gave mm-hmm. is actually the best example you can give. Uh, uh, no, I I understand. I, no, I understand where he's coming from yeah. because that's the when you read the thing and you see what he's alluding to. Now that you see it side yeah. by side, you're like, wow, yes. But we, we also know. Everyone also knows that how that strikes people. Nazi Germany is. It's always going to be that is that that one boogeyman in our history is like yeah. you know they're the they're the painted evil doers for 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 a long time they're going to be that way for a very very long un- unless new facts comes out but it's going always going to be that way there's no no one, not say no one but society or the world as a whole paints nazi germany as devils they're always going to be seen as evil so when you come up with this kind of thing and you want to make your point right Alluding to them is just going to bring up all those other emotions, and nobody's going to be able to see your point. And that's that's why you got most people will say, "How can you do that as a Holocaust survivor or as from uh, from a family of Holocaust survivors?" Uh, will be uh, that's insulting to us. You see, that's suddenly that's the point. They're going to use that. Uh, this is insulting that, and that wasn't his intention. He's not. I don't think he intended to insult anybody there. <coughs> No, I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, but, uh, but what I'm uh mm-hmm. like pushing back on that, I yeah. uh, that is valid. That, that is one, valid. Yeah, you I I've um that's like valid when it comes from a PR standpoint, right? Yeah. Like so what wh- what is the most e- what was the most effective way of to get your point get your point across to without distracting them with that little correct correct li- and that's what he's getting. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But the 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 issue is that right here, I feel that. This is actually one of the most effective ways of putting this point across because this exact same MO was carried out by the Nazis to the T, right? They did whatever uh, is happening right now and it was extremely successful. And the people who are pushing back on this uh, the examples you gave, like Jewish people, and another one is the Israeli no, embassy in Singapore. Not just, not just them. I just no, think no, like as the a whole, because we're yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like you no, said, I, I understand what you're coming from. The the PR, p- yes, that I agree with. But I'm talking about like the the pushback. The Jewish people saying all this kind of shit. He did not say anything about the Holocaust. He is talking about the manipulation. The people who are manipulated, right? You have to include the general German public as well. Yep. Because you had to manipulate them yep. so that they would agree that the the German Jews were bad. And, you know, they had to be exterminated or not even exterminated. Lah. These people are different. They are not us. Yeah. So these, the normal citizens had to agree. And the German, the the Nazi Party's propaganda was effective, in in the in that sense. So normal lay people agreed to the Nazi Party propaganda, and that's a problem. Yeah. yeah, that that is the issue that Brad Boyer is trying to push front here. Yeah. He's not talking about the Holocaust. No, no, he's not saying that pe- see, we are going to get exterminated in camps. No, and that's yeah. my and that's my. But and that's uh, he's drawing certain parallel. Oh, sorry, no, but he's okay. drawing certain parallels to Nazi Germany mm. because right now, uh, apparently in construction sites, if you're not vaccinated, you have to wear a badge. Ooh. Yes. Oh shit. Yeah. And they that's are coming up. They are they are having talks in Parliament or in certain parts of the government where they want to create like land yards or signs for people who are not vaccinated when you dine in. So, so he's saying that this draws a lot of parallels to what yes, is happening yeah. in, so, uh, so in Germany. Another time. thing, teachers from October, if you're not vaccinated, every two weeks or whatever, you're going to get tessa. you're going to get swap tests. Hmm. So you're going to be dragged out from your class. Oh no, I'm not. I'm just exaggerating here. But no. whichever way, you yeah. you need to go for a swap test what, uh, and all this kind of shit. So it's like racking up, right? Yeah. All these things against people who don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. And then the next question we've got to ask is, what's wrong about getting vaccinated? Why are you against oh. vaccination? So that's another question that Brett Boyer um, talked about. And then that itself got a lot of pushback. Yeah. Because he's talking about the efficacy of uh, vaccine and how fast it's being pushed to the general public yes. without it being uh, 100%. 100%. 
right? Yeah. Without it being approved by the FDA with, and, with, and, with and, that and being, all that being shit. so many different kinds. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. So the thing, like, what I'm saying here, right? You have that. That's his point, and his points can be valid. You see those things, but what what I'm saying is that even even for the PR point of view, uh, when he used that comparison Nazi Germany comparison comparison right he threw out his points they are valid but if you have focus on th- the what I'm saying what I'm trying to get through is that when you use that comparison right in people's mind is triggered to reject it because uh, of how no, no because of how we have we been oh no no Sean, I, I already got that yeah, I already no. got that Wha- so what I'm saying is but that you, but I also agree with you when yeah. you're, you're saying that the effective the effectiveness of all that his points when I read them if you don't, if you don't see, if you take away all that Nazi comparison, right? Th- the points that he's trying to make, right? You can see it happening. It's happening now with yeah. the with how the media is uh, 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 trained and how certain, you know, all these little you can't go gym, you can't go here unless you. I think you had this conversation before. I said like, um, this vaccine thing. There's no way to get away from it. Like you said that you there's a UN uh there's a the UN Nuremberg codes. You know that they cannot force you to take it. But No no no. It it, it is not cannot force you uh uh I should be specific about okay. it. It's about how peop uh medical experiments can be done. Oh okay. so how medical experiments like experiments for vaccines or whatever treatments, how it should be done. So people in the concentration camps were who are like guinea pigs, right? They were experimented just on, yeah. Yeah, so the Nuremberg Codes established like this is how it should be done. But the problem is that every country reinterprets the Nuremberg Code to, see to, fit, to fit for their, their own country. Yeah. Mm. So in Singapore, we have th- our own bioethics code. Uh, right, right. It's an 84 page document. Right. I cannot if you that, if sorry. you ever no, want no, to no, go no, and no. read it. Never. Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, and, 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 and the fucked up thing is that. F- point form. The point form is that if the bioethics uh, committee deems fit, they can grant anything they want. Ah. Right? So, that at that point, Brad Boy's point becomes really, really, really valid. Yeah. Mm. Where the general public has no idea what the fuck is going. Yeah. Because the bioethics committee, according to the documents, if you read it, uh, Prima no. Fasi, which is Never. on the face of of what is on the document, right? Without any special interpretation, legal jargon, whatever. It's like you don't even need to know. Mm. If it's deemed to be beneficial. You have to do it. it it'll be enforced. Like, it could be enforced. It goes beyond the, the boundaries Which of you can probably see l- uh, medical also, right? uh, ethics. Yeah, right. Right? That so, at that point, Brett Boyer's point becomes even stronger. Right, and uh, I agree with Sean. It seems like a PR disaster. Wait, wait, like you know, all oh, people are gonna like push back against this and all. No, but they're gonna push back not on the points he made. They're gonna push back only on the exactly. Fact that's that why I said PR, PR disaster. Yeah, PR disaster. Because the optics of it looks bad. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you but break the it s- the sad thing is that why are you why are people even talking about optics or thinking about optics? Mm. That that's a sad thing, mm. because if uh, our general population actually can't read into what he's saying or can't even discern, like, what what is he saying? Let me hear more. Can you explain yourself? No one is inquisitive enough to actually go up to him and like, hey, Mister Boyer, can you explain more? Yeah. Can you please like say something like, hey, come on our podcast? Yeah, and now, whatever. now it's like oh. no, like, like no one is asking him. No one's asking him to explain yourself. Well, what are your thoughts on the vaccine? What are your thoughts on yeah. the disease? Yeah. What are your thoughts on how not only Singaporean government, the world governments are actually handling this. But now this. actually, I think, I think podcasts will probably face issues if they get him on their, their, their podcast. No, yeah. but the podcaster who got the English fella who claimed no, himself sovereign was okay. We're, we're very brave. We have, we are three very brave yeah, but I mean, we only have five thousand subscribers, so yeah, that's I fine. I mean, it's no, we have only fifty k. If we get him on, we can get Manscaped. If, if <laughs> yes, if Brad Boyer wants to come on this podcast, I, I think, think he might because no one might be asking him to come on. Actually, yeah, that's the thing. If no he wants, one wants to come to on, to on, and then we just tell him we got right five thousand subscribers. But, but Josie, uh, Josie, we need to get Sean to wear a yarmulke. 
Yeah. Can also he can sit there or he can sit here. I it's a the thing, and he can actually defend his point, like without using those strong little things. He can defend it because there are certain things he can push for, like why, yeah. like what what's. I mean, even for the fully vaccinated, right? I only got it because of convenience. Exactly. Same here. Like yeah. It's only for the convenience, whether or not you believe in it, right? For me, I didn't see the point. I don't believe in I, shit. I just yeah, want to die now. So I just saw uh, you. You're gonna make it this way, but we're not. Not necessary by that action. Yes, we somewhat give consent. Like you know, we consent to your treatment of it. And who wants to be on the receiving end? Or why don't you want to be vaccinated? Why are you only thinking of yourself? Yeah. Why you see? But w- for even a fully vaccinated, right? I'm not on that stance. I'm on, not on the thing. Is like how can I blame people for not wanting to? And yeah, it's not a hundred percent. It's not. Uh, it's not the same as your measles or your what? Because those ones are, if I'm not wrong. Again, I I don't know, but measles and all those vaccin, a smallpox vaccination, those are proven. Like not say proven lah, <laughs> but those are one. You know, it's a singular vaccine. No, no multiple companies or multiple types. And but we're in the world. No, there there are multiple companies uh, producing. The, thing, the the problem measles. is I don't know this. Uh, like you yeah. said, layman, right? I am a layman. But I, uh, yeah, I measles can say have been proven to not exist in a court of exact- law in Germany. A uh, what? Yeah. Oh, that one I didn't know. See, I don't know a lot of things. Yeah. So I neither do I. I'm only in it for the convenience. Yeah. N- I am not admitting that you're correct. I'm just saying that this is what it is now, and I'm for the convenience sake, I'm getting yeah. it. Yeah. I. That is where. That's where. Br- Brad, uh, okay. I'm, I'm. I should not be speaking on Brett Boyer's yes. behalf. So he has to come but here. I, and um. I'm insinuating his oh anger yeah. and oh. the the his vociferous way of posting. Yeah. Vitriol. It's not vitriolic, but on Zoom also, but, but, but but yeah, but the thing is that he's like, wait, 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 like, I'm opposing it, and I'm giving you reasons. Yeah, but I'm being shut down. Yeah, by just being name called. Right. Yeah. So now, as uh, an anti-vax, uh, yeah, and as label. like some, label yeah, he's just being labeled, lah. Yeah. Right. Because but that's the easiest way to discriminate someone or uh, to discredit, discredit someone. Discredit. No, di- di- discredit. Yeah. Sorry. Being a discredit. Co- yeah. co- uh, I had too much vaccine. Co- co- I can't pick my words wisely. Co- wisely. Co- right? They call it. I I don't know what the fuck name is, no. but yeah. yeah, because I like I I completely get where Brad Boyle is coming from, and I stand with him hundred percent. But for me personally, not the views of this podcast. It's just co- is that I feel that the world is moving in a direction that we cannot go against. Because the powers that be want us to all to be vaccinated. No, I just want to go to Japan. So no, and, but, 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 and but, but you see, ultimately, yeah, you want to do it. Yeah. yeah. Someone else does not want to do it. And that person is going to suffer. So live and let live. No, well, whether the person suffers or not is not your tai chi. No, 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 right? but, no but you can't. No, but, but here's the thing: you yeah. come, you will come to a point where you can't live and let live. It will come to the point where you you you're going to be in such a situation where you cannot travel, you cannot work, you cannot uh 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 do cannot, do stuff that a normal human being person, can. If the person you is cannot go out with your buddies. If to the drink. person is willing to sacrifice all of that, yeah, uh, then yeah. why not? Then so be it. But I'm not. Yeah, dude. You see yeah. the the precedent says already been established yeah. now working from home is not something foreign yeah it's not alien anymore right right so you can if you can work from home and it's proven that your people are productive enough yeah now what is stopping people from being employed with uh companies from another country yeah in the if you're working remotely but, but that there's there's that no, is no, no no i'm i'm saying la, that like, yeah. you know this now opens a whole new Globalized, uh, yeah. globalized hiring, globalized yeah. hiring but thing. But a it doesn't new paradigm, right? Th- but no, whether you want to travel or not, that's your own problem. Yeah. But if someone is like, okay, I I don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. So I don't mind not traveling. Yeah. That's that that person's so problem. You're saying he shouldn't be alienated just for that choice, lah. Yeah. He shouldn't be just no, but but but, see, he, but you see the alienation, the right? The whole thing about that alienation is. Created, it, it, it is propaganda driven. Yeah. You see, the propaganda is that if this person who is not vaccinated is going to be walking the streets, yeah, and everyone else who's vaccinated can be walking the streets unmasked. Now, this person who could be a harbor of the virus could pass it on to someone else, and some old grandmother or grandfather can could die. die. Yeah, so fear mongering. And uh. this person is going to be the cause. Yeah, because yeah. he did not get the vaccine, yeah. 
she did not get the a vaccine. The, yeah, right? Yeah. So this whole thing is, this, the whole propaganda is going to be perpetuated again and again and again. If there's no pushback, I'm happy that Brad Boyer actually is pushing back. Yeah. Because in Singapore, we can't riot. We can't protest. No. We don't in want Australia, to Hong Ning Pak. In Australia, the they are having protests. Yeah. Right? In Spain, they are having protests. In Italy, they are having protests. In France and Italy, people who got vaccinated yeah. and who were given a vaccine passport, some of them actually came down to the protests and stand, stood in solidarity and actually burned their vaccine passports. Right. Saying that this is insane. Right. You know, we, f- we fought through the Nazi occupation. We don't want to go back there. Right. Right. So Brad Boyer is not, isol- he's not an isolated person in this sense. He's just the most vocal. He's vocal here. Mm. Yeah. Right. But all throughout the world, you have people who support his point. Even people who got vaccinated. Yeah. Right. They don't want a vaccine passport. But here, sadly, convenience. It it has already been integrated within your contact tracing app. Yeah. So there's no vaccine passport to cry about. It's already there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and 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 for me, if that if you can't fight the machine, fucking join the machine. That me, that's why I decided to get my jab. For me, it's Japan. Yeah, but Brad Boyer decided <laughs> to fight the machine, and I support him. I support his balls, and if I support his balls as if well. If he yeah. needs someone to wave the fucking Nazi flag, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's what you see. I've Stop talking, right there! I've Stop been talking right about there. PR and then you just almost created one. Yeah, okay, okay. We we are back. <laughs> we, we you almost created one. You see, people no, never he, pr- nobody he's is not going, going to, to wave a Nazi flag. No, he's, nobody that, he's, that's, he's, he's not German. He himself I don't think he intended that. I think he's, he's what he's, he's like British or he's Australian? Uh, Australian, Brit- but, uh, uh, Australian. Uh, Australian. 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 But, Australian. Australian. but Boyer, that's historically a British, a British, name. British name, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he's not gonna be the he Union Jack, yes. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, uh, not there. Okay, guys. Uh, we up, just on, up on Fort Canning. Yeah. All right, yes. guys. We just came back from a commercial break. <laughs> yeah, we, we had to cut the episode because it got a little too wild. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did a little commercial on Manscaped. Yeah, you, you better. <laughs> you better Why don't we all give them a limb waving? <laughs> limb waving, bro. Limb waving. Yeah. Yeah. No, but for his, yeah, I think for that the whole discussion. No, no, but like, no, no. To be serious, people who are going to be labeling him as anything, those are the people who are trying to fucking create a problem. Right, the Israeli embassy, fucking people saying I'm Jewish or what. Hey, no one is talking about Jewish people who died. They're, they're not equating anything. He's not equating your ancestors dying. Nothing like that. Yeah. He's talking about the mindset that was tuned by by the Nazi party. How the government, the, the Nazi government tune the German citizens into accepting praxi- practices of the government. Which uh, in some which, sense are Which not eventually <laughs> led into the extermination and of 6 million and not, not only allegedly. that, it's the idea behind those... No, no, it could be more. It could be more, it I could be less. Much, uh, because there were gypsies, like there, were, there were people <laughs> who were disabled, there no. were Romanians, right? yeah, homosexuals, yeah, homosexuals yeah, so they yeah. were Jewish. Your, your, point, your point is there, that the, the, idea, the ideas they, they've they fo- not say false lah. That they, they uh, brainwash. How do you say? Yeah, uh, uh, indoctrinate into people. Indoctrinated. Mind yeah, are not are not facts. You know, now if you use those same facts, you feel like you're crazy. Why are you doing that? You know this. Way. But keep in mind, dude. Mm. America, the politicians, mm. Colin Powell, mm. went on to the UN national uh, assembly and said that we have got evidence that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Which they don't lah. Which they didn't. Yeah, so it's those things fucking are liars. He yeah, convinced yeah. the world and the American citizens that they needed to enter Iraq and kill, yeah. and kill Saddam Hussein so yeah. that they could stop another Holocaust. Yeah. And that was false. Yep. They, they just wanted the oil fills. Oil. <laughs> oil. 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 Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Wait, wait. That one also sadly, like, sadly, I think, have, I think this whole uh, COVID uh, vaccination, we passports, vaccination shit... I think it's only going to be ramped up in the next coming no, months. But, but he actually brought year. up a really good point. A really, really good point. Yeah. Where he questioned the mortality rate. Yeah. He questioned, what are the stats? Please tell us the stats. Please tell us the information. Like, why are we giving, uh, being given like 
fucking bird feed when it comes to information. Yeah. So you you have you have information like. No, I think this uh, part is the one you wanted to say. I don't know. Sixteen year old gets vaccinated, comes comes down with heart attack. Yeah, yeah. he's just been released from the. Uh, from the hospital, no, right? No, yeah. But he was hospital. working just out on the same the day. He was exercising, unit. right? Ah, the unit. Okay. So he's yeah. Oh, yeah. He's okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so then it comes out that, or he took the vaccine, but then he went to the gym. Yeah. So something happened to him. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get an, then you get another story. It's what he said. Time of crisis, rather than creating state-sponsored uh, disunity, why can't you answer valid que- uh, concerns with science to back it yeah, up? That's one. That's the part. To promote Why can't you national... Answer? Yeah, yeah. This part is the one that he's been saying. Like yeah. Because the science do- doesn't fully... Doesn't fully... I mean, the whole 96% oh. and everything... And now they're saying Moderna might be more effective than Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's The flip-flopping it's is ever, insane. It's ever-changing. But to actually support... Hello? Like, Hello? like to, to go apeshit and support that... Whatever post he posted there... The Duke NUS School of Medicine, right... You know, they do research, medical research and all this kind of shit. Yeah. They, they claim that they were the third country to culture the COVID-19 virus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Right. Okay. And the way they cultured it, it's exactly the same all around the world. So they, so they, they, they put the, they say that there's a patient infected with the virus. Right. We take... Uh, nasal fluid yeah and then we put it into a solution and then we put it onto monkey kidney cells with antibiotics with bovine calf serum and all sorts of other things and then we deprive it of nutrients slowly put it under extreme stress and then we look it look at all this shit under a microscope electron microscope and then we see the cells dying. Mm. That's evidence of a virus. Right. Right. And then they do a PCR test on, on that. Right. And right, then right. they say that the genome that we got from that... No, that's just your, your point. The the one you were saying. The mortality. Because this Gordon... Uh, this other person questioned him. Yeah. And okay, I, I wonder what our perspective would be if our COVID response had been less robust and the result fall, uh, resultant fallout was a much higher incident of death across all demographic groups. Would we be as prone to compare anything with the Third Reich or describe unvaccinated as a segment of society being bundled into trains for Auschwitz? I think there would be far fewer people who would be so sanguine about prescription of exercise, sunlight and a balanced meal as... COVID-19 policy. Ah, okay. So then he asked for the true yeah, yeah. So true mortality rate and, and everything. Yeah. And and th- and that's where it comes uh, it comes into play, right? So going to his point. Recently a 68-year-old lady or 64-year-old lady. 60 plus. Yeah. She died after getting the vaccine. Mm. And the daughter of the lady was like what the fuck? Yeah, she was... Be- before getting her... Uh, after. After she got... After the lady got vaccinated, one, she died. Yeah. Right? And her cause of death was heart attack. Right. And she was like, what the fuck? She has never had heart problems. Yeah. The only problem she had was mild diabetes and it's under control. Right. And before this, she had no medical problems. Right. For years. Yeah. So she went to get a vaccine... And the daughter herself said that I'm an advocate for the vaccine. I've been trying to like debunk people and say to people that no, 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 don't think too much about it. Just go and get vaccinated and everything. And then when the mom got vaccinated, she died. Jesus Christ. Right? So now she's demanding for answers. Yeah. So the government's response, or I saw this on Mothership. So Mothership, mo- Mothership claims that the government uh, authorities, MOH and everyone, oh, they are helping, assisting with the family with information or whatever help they need. Yeah. But the lady is still saying that, oh, I can't, how can I just like listen to you and say that, oh, it was a heart attack. So that, that's a problem. Mm. If, you l- if you were to look at all the 
cases of deaths recently. So now it has gone beyond 40 cases of uh, 40 deaths, right? Right. People with diabetes, cancer, high blood pressure, uh, fucking high cholesterol, all sorts of different illnesses, you get the report saying that died due to COVID-19 complications. Right. Right? right, and then after that, a few paragraphs later, this patient, uh, this person had all these things, history of all these things. Right. So how are you damn sure? Yeah. That this person died because of the recent novel coronavirus, and not because of all the other things that they were suffering from, from cancer, yeah. from heart problems, from high blood pressure, from diabetes, all these different things. Yeah. You rule out. But when it comes for to death from vaccine, yeah, no, it's not. It's not the vaccine. It's heart attack, right? So right. You, you see, there's there's suddenly like, no, no, cannot be, cannot be. Yeah, the vaccine is hundred percent safe. Ah, it's hundred percent safe. Yeah, it's safe and effective. Yeah, but anything, uh, you know, any other, th- any other thing is not. Yeah. So people are going to be asking questions. People are definitely going to be asking questions. Yeah, you know, ever since I got my first jab, right, I think I've been having w- pretty weird dreams. Mm. I think that might be the supernatural speaking to me, trying to tap into my subconscious. And I've been having these weird dreams of, like, I'm in my bed, and then suddenly the heavens open, and this majestic craft drops into my room. And then it shines a light on me. And then I'm like lifted out, out of my bed into this craft and I travel the cosmos. You know what I'm saying? And I get to meet like different species from different parts of the galaxy. And they tell me that, hey, you're special. Jesus has chosen you to be the special one. You are the second coming of Christ. And, and then I wake up in the morning and then I wet my bed. I, you know, somehow I just, like, I had such a deep sleep that I need to piss, but I can't go to the toilet. And then I just piss in my bed. And then I had to change my fucking sheets. Doesn't that sound like kindergarten? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, (laughs) many people experience different things when they do the vaccine. I'm saying that it might be, uh, you know, it might be psychedelics. We might be injected with uh, fucking LSD. Oh, dude, there might be a huge probability that not all vaccines are actually vaccines. That might be placebos right. being injected as well. Yeah. Because y- y- you've got some people who get fucking uh, fever. Right. Some people, nothing. Eh? Yeah, because I, I had COVID in 2018. I had all the symptoms of COVID in 2018. And I kicked it within a fucking week. Dude, last week we were talking about dengue, right? Yeah. And then Sean was like, oh, dengue virus. La. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. Let me go and have a look at it. Yeah. So I went to do research and they classify it as the dengue virus. Yeah. Then I went to find out how they isolated the virus. Yeah. Same fucking way. Right. <laughs> Same fucking way. Right. And then when you go and read the papers, no evidence of a virus. Right. The fucking image of a virus is computer generated. <laughs> so it, it might not be a virus, but it, may, it might, might be a pathogen or something. Most likely it's a parasite. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they and, attack your and now I understand why people in America and all they have been clamoring over the drug ivermectin, mm. because ivermectin is actually meant to combat parasites. Right. Okay. So if Singapore, the Singaporean medical system, were to administer ivermectin for people suspected dengue, malaria, chikungunya, there is a drug to, uh, to fight it. To fight it. Right. Because it actually combats parasites. But in Singapore, the medical procedure is not to administer anything until your platelet count goes to a really low level. Fucking zero. And then you need to go to a hospital. Yeah. And the hospital will bring you to a ward, which is like a dengue ward, and then they will start pumping plasma into your body because you are not fighting it good enough. Right, right. Right? So you need... Outside assist, uh, assistance. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically letting you fight the fucking parasite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. immune system, la, basically. Yeah. There, there's no virus. Yeah. Because there's no uh, virus uh, isolation. Right. But the if you were to read Wikipedia or whatever, it's called the dengue virus. 
Like what? Like what he said? Yeah, it's classified as a virus. Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck, man." Yeah, of course they they couldn't uh, prescribe me antibiotics or whatever. Antibiotics will not do anything to but a they virus. They told me that the only germs, the only yeah. thing you you can take Bacteria, is Panadol. Yeah. But well, the Panadol does fuck off. Yeah, I the, pan- the paracetamol uh, just tricks your brain into feeling that you're yeah. okay. It tricks the symptoms. Yeah. No, but it helps you. Uh, it it stops the pain though. The the migraine yeah, and no, the yeah, it tricks yeah. your brain. It into tricks the symptoms. The yeah. 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 It, it, it tells your brain to, to ignore the to ignore the symptoms. It's still happening. Yeah. It's still happening, but, but let your let your immune system fight it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it. Right. <laughs> I think we. Yeah. I don't know. I think Maybe we need weed. Oh wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It oh, might. So <laughs> good. Yeah. I Coming from someone who has never tried it. Yeah. I never mean, tried weed. I think I might freak out though. No. I you think this is all alien technology, lah. Let, let let's be let's be honest. I think all this like whole pathogens and, and disease. Cr- it's crusade. not alien technology. It's dinosaur technology. Yeah. It's dinosaur technology. Yeah. No, <laughs> aliens came into this <laughs> earth. <laughs> <and Jurassic. laughs> the fucking T Rex. The T Rex. I I see a current yeah. trend. Josiah is on this UFO thing. Yeah, thing. I'm on it. I saw this UFO uh, documentary on Netflix, and I'm so <laughs> thank you Netflix. You should you should fucking support the lots of low bang. The same with tinfoil hats, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah, you yeah. when you wear the, you know, do you know why you wear tinfoil hats? <laughs> so that l- because the, they can't uh, read your mind. Yeah, no, the, the aluminum. No, no, no. So that the aliens can read your mind easier, oh. because they oh, they, they practice like telekinesis. So when you wear the tinfoil hats, you have a better oh, connection. There are conflicting there. reports about that. Actually. Yeah. So they can read your mind, then you can read their mind, and then uh, you understand so, the so they mystery of the world. Let there let are people in the DIA, right, <laughs> who get people coming into their office to come and like explain their theories or what they have seen like give eyewitness testimony yeah who actually come in with tin for tin heads for <laughs> right <laughs> and and they claim that no i don't want any Body of my my uh, knowledge my brain knowledge being exposed to any other fields of which, communication which is yeah. not a right. lot la. yeah <laughs> right, right 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 no no yeah. but it usually comes from experience like they have uh. witnessed something and no one wants but to believe what they witnessed can i be a stickler and just say it's not telekinesis yeah yeah, yeah. Um, well it might be no, it's telepathy. Te- oh, telep. Yeah. Yeah. Telekinesis. They can move your head. Oh, well, they can move objects with your mind. And this right. podcast is yeah. being recorded just at the beginning of the seven months. Yeah. Yeah. So don't play around. So I scan when w- happy okay, Halloween, the people. <laughs> the the reason why I say telekinesis is that so that I can move the tin for head onto my head. Ah, there you with go. my ah, mind. There you go. Yeah. And then be able to read the alien's mind from uh, telepathy. Or at least move the alien's willy. <laughs> yeah, King knows no bounds, <laughs> and it on it's interstellar sex. <laughs> yeah, and on that note, I'm speaking to the Majestic Twelve or the Alliance. Send me a gray so I can fuck the gray and become part of a system. Because the world is coming to an end, and, oh. I, ha- and I have to join the winning team. Ciao. Yeah. yeah. yeah ciao. And then you got vaccinated for that, Brad Boyer. We support you. Exactly. Please come, come on our podcast. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to reach out to you and uh, let's speak soon. Yes. Ciao, guys. Ciao.